Hi guys, welcome to Click On This. I'm your host Candice Buenrostro and we are kicking off Sundance 2015. I'm here in Beverly Hills with the lovely Lee Broda here at the Jeff Rice Film Studios. Hello. So welcome. Thank you. Hi uh, everyone. <laughs> not only do you have one film in Sundance, but she has two films in Sundance. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We're very excited. Yeah. So this is your fourth year in Sundance, correct? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. For, um, yeah, going, uh, last year we had Rudderless um, premiering and this year we have um, Experimenter and I'll see you in my dreams. Experimenter is uh, based on a true story and it talks about the Stanley Milgram um, story which Stanley Milgram was a Jewish scientist in the 1960s that was conducting uh, different experiments. Um, and it's, uh, it's a great drama and I know I hope we're gonna get some great feedback on that. Maybe some awards, I, I don't know, I have a... Oh, you're, I saw the we trailer, great amazing, feedback. so... Yeah, and uh, I'll see in my dreams, it's just a fun, not just, but it's a fun comedy drama with Love great this. cast as well, Mountain Ackerman and Blake Danner. Um, yeah, so we have two special ones that are very different and very fun. Now, aside from Sundance, you have another project in a couple of weeks with Nicolas Cage. When is that coming out? Yes, we're actually starting very soon. We're starting um, at the end of January, okay. and we're going to shoot in Vegas, fun. which I never shot in Vegas, but it's supposed to be super fun. Uh, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? You can have fun and work. and Yeah, it's a crime drama with a Nicolas Cage starring. So, yeah, we're very excited about that, too. It's a great, great start to the New Year. So. You are a woman of many hats. She, this woman is amazing. I was researching her. You are an actor, a producer, a casting director. Yes. Tell us a day in the life of you. How do you... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think my days are very different. My day today is mainly day. producing and, and acting. If depends on the projects I'm working on. Um, casting comes and goes. Comes it's and goes. very yeah, dependent on the project. And uh, yeah, it's very exciting and very different, which is which I love. Well, yeah. Congratulations! The films look amazing. What was it like working with all these heavy hitters from the the experiment? Or you had Kellen Lutz, Winona Ryder, John Leguizamo. Yeah, we we were blessed with this one because the project came to us and it had Winona and Peter attached. Okay. And then Michael, the director, has this amazing talent of attracting great actors to every project he does. So suddenly we're in pre-production and Anton Yelchin jumped on and then Taryn Menon and so many wonderful actors. And it was great and they're all very generous and kind and very professional on set. It was just How lovely. amazing. So you're taking off the Sundance this Friday? Yes, I am. So how do you prepare for these festivals? What do you do to prepare? Um, mainly, I think it's our team that's preparing. We have, um, except for the parties and the premiere itself, yeah. we're very oh focused my God. about... Oh, you, all these <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Shopping for <laughs> premieres and stuff. Um, but mainly it's just um, everything around the project and making sure we're ready and prepared and our team is in place because we want, we want it to have a great sell, which is the main... Um, Point, yeah, of the festival. So um, just kind of having fun. We're not, we have amazing producers that are running the show. So we're just supporting them. So this is your fourth year going. Do you have any favorite spots in Park City that you like to go to? Do you get any free time or any downtime? Or is it no, just we do. Together? Yeah, I love Sundance. Sundance is like very intimate compared to other festivals that we go to, like Cannes and mm -hmm. Toronto. Um, I like Village of the Lift. They have like, it's kind of downtown that you have during the day that you grab lunch and um, they bring uh, different restaurants from L.A. over there. So it's kind of a nice place. And then the parties are great. So many good parties. My PR person it just was putting the grid together and she was like, Lee, I don't know how you're going to do it. There are so many events, especially the first weekend. There's a part of Women in Film and they have like a panel and an event. So you kind of have to make sure... You say hello to everyone. On the go. Yeah, on the go. Do you ever take a moment to just, do you, do you ski or snowboard? I don't. I actually, I'm very Israeli and <laughs> we don't have snow really in Israel. So I never really skied. I know how to ice skate, but I always fall because I'm kind of 
clumsy, but <laughs> you me both. <laughs> but maybe one day I should kind of. I leave. I leave on Wednesday, so right after our premiere and party. Okay. So I don't know. Maybe we'll find a time. So tell me about your first Sundance experience. Have any fun stories to share oh, with the audience? Sun- yes, <laughs> that was a crazy one. <laughs> um, I was just out of school, uh, conservatory, because I, I was in, I was acting back then, and I just decided to go, and I went alone, and I stayed in Salt Lake, and I rented this cute car because I don't know snow. So I was driving up there and there was a snowstorm and I got oh, no. stuck up there with my Fiat, my little car, oh. with nowhere to sleep because they closed the canyon. Because if you know Park City, it's at the top of the mountain, so you can't get out. So I met this girl that I knew briefly and she was like, you can crash at our place. And I ended up sleeping on the floor my like, first Sundance. Aren't you just but grateful for kind people like that I in know, the world? right? It's like someone will save you uh, in the middle of Utah. Yeah, it was... a. Uh, it was crazy, but it was very inspiring as well for a person that never been and just moved from, to the States and yeah, just kind of be around cool. there and seeing great films yeah. and being around filmmakers that are very passionate. It's very inspiring. Yeah, it is. Because to me, it was that's when I decided I was like, one of my goals is to have a film in Sundance. And being there, I think, just kind of helped create that. So it was a special experience. How did you do, uh, get the transition from being an actor to getting into production? What made you want to get into production? Um, I think they, they encourage us at school that to, to create. And especially as actors, instead of sitting and waiting for things to happen, um, they worked with us about um, writing as well. And I always was curious about the casting process, so I started uh, interning for Fern Champion, and my first project was um, Hatfield and McCoy's, which was a big miniseries. So that was very fascinating, and I was like, I can do it. Yeah, and I sure. just, <laughs> I was kind of putting it out there, and and from casting, I, I I started working here as a casting assistant, and being around Jeff and all his fil- his films, I I kind of asked him to work with him because he was working on the Holocaust project I was very curious about. And he gave me my first chance. He was like, sure, just come every day and, and let's see how we're going to roll from there. And I started being more and more involved in bringing investors and help raise money on projects. And Experimenter, I think, was, was my second one that I actually was hands-on executive producing and Amazing. Yeah, it's not, just this office. You just you're here, and you just feel like so motivated. It's just you take a look yeah. at the job. It's amazing. We but. have we do a lot of great films. We're very blessed, and yeah. Jeff is so good at what he does. He's been doing this for for twenty years, and I think we've done around sixteen last year, and probably gonna do the same this year. Which yeah, is your IMDb exciting. is going off the radar. You have so much going on, but I do want to talk about a future project. Walt mm-hmm. before Mickey. Yes. And you're going to be in it also. Yes, I'm acting in it. And Congratulations. Thank you. That was a very fun project to do. Because as an actor, I always do those dramatic, heavy roles. And this one was a period piece, and it was very, it was a, it's based on Walt Disney, his um, life. And I got to be part of it, and we were shooting in Florida, which was very fun. And got great cast on board, and... Yeah, I think it's going to come out uh, around spring, around spring, end of spring, hopefully. Just look out for that. That's yeah, awesome. it's, it's, you're going to love it. And the music, we just finished, the director and uh, producer were just here in L.A. because they were doing a session with, um, with their orchestra for the soundtrack. And it sounds gorgeous. So Can't yeah. wait. I'm going to definitely look out for that because I was like, this, all your projects look amazing. And I just... Congratulations on Thank all your you. success, and we will definitely be seeing this lovely, talented woman in the future. But best of luck to you and Sundance. Thank, and Thank you so much. Yeah, definitely, and we'll be back soon. Hopefully, we'll catch up with you on Sundance. Yes, our premiere is Sunday uh, for Experimenter, and Tuesday for I'll See You in My Dream. So, cool. wish us luck. Thank you so much. Thank the lovely Lee for chatting with us on Click On This. So the next time you'll be seeing me and the rest of my cast, we'll be coming at you from Sundance 2015 in Park City, Utah. I'm your host, Candy Buenostro, and don't forget to click on this.